Well, God bless and welcome to Ask Pastor Mike, a ministry of Pastor on Call, where I answer intriguing questions that our listeners and subscribers send in. One uh, listener uh, sent me a question and asked me if I would do a topic on exposing the lie of religion. First of all, let me explain something to you. Back in 1980, I was saved out of religion. Back in 1980, prior to 1980, I was deeply involved in a religious denomination. But in 1980, I was certainly set free. Now, there will be people from all over this world watching this video that will not be able to stand hearing what I have to say. But I have nothing to lose by telling you what I'm about to tell you. Religion was not invented by God. In fact, Christianity is not a religion. In fact, in the New Testament, we were never called Christians to begin with. The word Christianity is really not an accurate um, definition of what I am and what you want to be. In fact, in the Bible, the first time the word Christian was used, it was used in a derogatory sense from pagans. Religion, a person's attempt to gain the approval of, be accepted by, or please, a supreme being, power, or concept whom they believe will somehow influence or control their destiny, or will somehow hold them accountable for their thoughts, words, behaviors during their life on this earth. Religion is a set of rules of do's and don'ts. So let me get back to what I said earlier. And there are people out there that completely disagree. And I really want you to know something. This is not a theology that I'm teaching you right now. This is a life experience with a living Savior. Being born again, or being a child of God, or being a Christian is not a religion. Being saved, I repeat, is not a religion. Religion says do, do, do. Being saved says done, done, done. And I get more hate comments from people on this channel when it comes to splitting hairs over legalism in the New Testament. And let me make this perfectly clear. The New Testament is not a book of law or rules. I don't care what anybody in your religion wants to teach you, whether the hair should be long or the hair should be short or you can't eat meat on Friday or you have to worship on Saturday. I am here to tell you that is nothing but a big fat lie. Ladies and gentlemen, religion is a lie. Now listen, if you want to know the depth of this and you want to know the darkness of this, just become a pastor. And when you become a pastor and you see the inner workings that go on in ministry, all I have to do, you tell you folks, is just follow the money. Just follow the money. And in every major denomination church, just follow the money. And they don't want you to know this because they want to keep you depending on their religion. Because where their religion is, is their paycheck. Belief is a thought or concept held in a person's mind. The word belief means to be and live what you say you are. A belief is being what you say you are. There's lots of people that say, I believe in this or that, but they don't live in what they say they believe. So belief is a thought or concept held in a person's mind. 
It's of the strongest convictions that what I say I believe I am. If you say you believe in Christ, then you must be more like him. You must desire to worship him. You must desire to conform to his image. You must walk like him and talk like him and desire to be more like a child would be want to be to his father. Amen. Religion tells you things you must do to be loved by your God. There are 20,000 Christian religions, 20,000 Christian religions. Some believe in talking in tongues. Some don't believe in talking in tongues. Some believe you have to eat meat on Friday. And some do believe you have to eat meat on Friday. Some believe you have to worship on Saturday. And some believe you have to worship on Sunday. And this is the cause of all major wars in this world right now. It's about religion. And God is not the inventor of religion. Let me read to you what Paul says. He says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I have become as a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could, re could move mountains, but have not love, I have nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but I have not love, it profits me nothing. For love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. It's not provoked. It thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. In verse number eight is love never fails. Listen. Religions will fail. You mark my words, whatever religion you're involved with will one day fail. It will be proven by the test of time that people that are in bondage to religion want to be set free, but they're afraid of losing the love of God. Love never fails. And love, my friends, is no religion. And I can tell you this in closing. There are people that are going to watch this video that are going to be so irritated and so annoyed because they belong to a religious organization. And I'm just here to tell you this. I am not condemning any religious activity. You may brush your teeth religiously and I'm not even coming against you. I am saying to you that religion says do, do, do. And faith in Christ says done, done, Done. You pray to the Holy Spirit that that spirit of legalism that has attached itself to you, that tells you you have to do more for Christ, you haven't done enough for Christ, you have to jump this high for Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that that spirit of legalism be broken in the name of Jesus right now. May God bless you. Thanks for watching. Give me those comments below. I'm looking forward to them. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.